thing. You also wrote that it took going up the river for Martha Stewart to get a sense of humor, which I asked her about I on Watch What Happens Live. Sorry, I'm a bone collector. That's okay. I asked That's her okay. about it last week, and I thought her response was great. She was like... She oh, was very generous. Yes. You know, let, let me explain that a little no, bit. No, it's too. fine. It, it's, no, no, no. It, okay. I want to because okay. I like Martha, but the truth of the matter is there was a period where she took herself very seriously and was quite humorless. I agree. And I agree. And, she, uh, she did change and, when she went away. And and I well, I think she's evolved. Yes. I think she's she's changed as a person. And I I was kind of using the Martha Katie thing as the do, do, doyen of, of domesticity versus the frazzled career gal yeah and how um and 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 sh i did she wasn't amused by my poem which was actually very very generous and loving at the end yeah and uh i just thought it was um you know funny and i thought she was incredibly generous to say old friends could say what they wanted yes and i do think she's much funnier and much more relaxed and has a much better sense of humor now than she did when she was starting out. And when someone would break a, an egg, an Easter egg after blowing out like 12 dozen of them for a segment, she 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 was not exactly relaxed about no, it. No, she was she was um, she when I, I was then back at the morning show on the Today Show when Bryant went for his misbegotten run as anchor of the CBS morning show and we had Martha on for a couple of years and it was terrifying when she would come in I mean she had her whole group of people she had no sense of humor it was it was it was wild um, so when you when you interviewed her about that did you did you uh did you defend my observation of course not um <laughs> uh <laughs> thanks Andy you're welcome